Hey guys, what's up? It's Clay Ranger 143 here along with Brandon Crocker, Wayne County Emergency, my dudes. And we're back on radio reviews. I haven't done this in a long while. Last time I did a radio reviews episode was back in April, reviewing the 12521, which is right there. And since I didn't get any new radios after that, I've been kind of on a took a three month hiatus or so from collecting radios but thanks to this guy over here that has changed today <laughs> yes it has <laughs> so without further ado and you can already see it at the bottom right corner of the screen I think but in this episode of radio reviews we're going to be reviewing the successor to the Zong Guard. The Eton Zong Guard Plus! A bit of history. Here's Javier's dreaded Zone Guard. And here's Brandon's. This is actually Brandon's. Possessed Zone Guard Plus. Yes, this fucking black and silver brick is possessed as well. Just like the Zone Guard. It's his, it's possessed. Just like Javier's. Okay, the Zone Guard, Zone Guard Plus. They're both possessed and they have a lot in common. So, it's natural. It's so natural. Yeah, Javier just gave me a possessed brick. You just gave me the devil himself. Yep, I did. God damn. <laughs> so, a bit of history on this radio. The Eton Zongard Plus was founded or manufactured in 2013, I want to say. Or I think it was 2014. I am not entirely sure, but in between those two years, they had to they had to manufacture this radio cuz the Zongard came out in 2013, I think. Yeah, something like that. But yeah, maybe this came out a year before. I am not sure. Anyway, as you can see, this looks very similar to the regular Zone Guard. Except it is it has a, a lot of noticeable differences. One, on the beacon, it doesn't say American Red Cross. It just says Zone Guard Plus. Number two, isn't it obvious already? The color. The original Zone Guard was white. This is black and silver, and no, it's not the black and silver WR100, which I fucking want to get so bad. But, yeah. Also, the buttons are different. Like, you see the four circular buttons in the front, along with the one, two, three, four, five, six buttons. These are square and rectangular. Plus, the buttons on the side are also different, because on the side of this zone guard, they are just flat. And on the... And on the Zongard Plus, they almost kind of protrude out of the side. Uh, yeah. On this side of the Zone Guard, the regular one, they're just four circular buttons. But on the Zone Guard Plus, if I throw these away real quick, we'll get to those later. Get to those later, mater. <laughs> I was just about to say mater Welcome instead of North later. Carolina. The fuck is this? Cars? <laughs> anyway. Um, on the Zone Guard Plus, three more buttons are kind of protruding out the side, and you have this button right here, which is undisclosed. And if you guys are wondering, yes, I'm using the stand from this Zone Guard, because Brandon lost the stand for this Zone Guard Plus, Actually, I believe. Actually, I never even got a stand for it. Oh, Long you for it never sent me one. Oh, well, shame on him then. <laughs> Also, on the back and on the corners, the zone guard is more flat and curved. Like, there's a there's a little rectangular um, base for the batteries and the nail holders and the antenna and stuff like that. And the adapter on the bottom, which is um, kind of a compact design. But on the zone guard plus, it's like more bulky. Because on the zone guard plus, it's kind of like a trapezoid base. But the adapter is still somewhat similar. The adapter slot, that is. But 
the back and on the corners, it's kind of like a, it's more bulky than the regular zone guard, as you can clearly see. But hey, it's a plus. You gotta get it. You gotta get the best features out of them. Gotta make it better. Gotta get the in himself. Uh huh. <laughs> so, anyway, we're gonna go through some of the quirks and features. Yes, I pulled the Doug DeMuro there. Deal with it. But we're gonna go through some of the features that this radio has and stuff like that. Assuming I survive long enough. First feature to start off with, and yes, I still remember. Just because I haven't done a radio reviews episode in a while, doesn't mean I forgot the topics I'm supposed to do first. So, the first topic we're going to do is the button beeps and the siren test. But wait, there are no button beeps. But there is a siren test. And let me tell you, right now, the siren on this radio has to be the worst of its kind. Seriously. It is so awful and so horrendous, and I can see you doing that. It is so awful and so horrendous. It has to be one of the... <laughs> Has to be one of the worst sounding radios ever. I feel bad for the people that have one, but I got this one just for the hell of it. But then again, the people like, uh, let's see, Thunder Buddy 01. Oh, yeah, Norfolk Southern Storm. They torture me with this fucking thing. So. Anyway, to do the siren test. You press the alert on off button and you should see a symbol pop up on the bottom left corner of the screen like that. Then you press the power button. Three, two, one, prepare to die. Oof. Sounds very nice. Nothing wrong with it at all. <laughs> Orgasm through, a orgasm through a speaker. <laughs> but yeah, that's the siren test. That's the siren test. And already we start off with a bad topic in this video. But yeah, the siren on this radio is the worst sounding siren on any radio I've ever heard. I prefer. What? I said can confirm. Oh yeah, he suffered it as well. I'd rather prefer the original Zone Guard over the Plus, and the lighting is very... Oh, there we go. But, yeah, the siren is just garbage. Although, this radio does have similar sounding sirens to the original Zone Guard, as I shall demonstrate right here, from the files I have. Here's the advisory for the Plus. Here's the watch. And that's the warning. Except the only difference is you can hear the whatever the hell that is. Garbage static in the background of the damn siren. So, yeah. Yeah. One serious defect, I must say. It's not a defect. I should take that back. It is awful to listen to. It's horrendous. What the fuck was Eton thinking? I will never know. We will never know. He zoned it and now he's passed it to me. So neither of us, along with anybody else who owned a Zone Guard Plus or currently owns one, shall never go. Welcome to hell, my friend. Welcome to hell. Exactly what Javier said in the unboxing video. <laughs> anyway. Next feature, shall we? 
just like the original zone guard, this radio has the option to set alert blocking. So if we go over here, aka the defeat siren or defat siren. And when I unboxed this at first, I noticed that you already enabled everything, which is what I do on every single one of my radios because we want these radios to go off for anything and everything, just like SPC for Gens once said, and has always said, every time he got a new radio. But, yeah. But you can turn any of these alerts off if you wanted to, like the ones that GSP doesn't tone, like uh, child abduction emergency, coastal flooding, anything coastal related, because GSP is nowhere near the coast. Um... Fire warning. Flash freeze warnings don't even exist. Freeze warnings. Hurricane statement. Hurricane watch. Hurricane statement. Hurricane watch. Um, high wind watch. High wind warning. Iceberg warnings are extinct. Well, they've always been extinct because they've never existed. So... Yeah. What's the point of having it on there? I have no idea. It has it on all the newer radios, too. National Audible Test, that doesn't even work. Power Outage Advisory doesn't even exist. But they're there. They're just there. I don't know why, but they're there. Anyway. Next feature. Next feature on this dreaded radio is the speaker quality. We're about to test out the speaker. So, yeah, if we raise the antenna on this beast of a radio real quick, there you go, it's the same length and as the original zone guard, but if we go over here away from the computer to avoid interference and we turn on the weather radio band and turn up the volume all the way. Turn out the volume for one second. Now, Brandon, I'm assuming that you already have your FM stations programmed into this radio. Oh, really? Well, we shall find out. So, if we go to AM FM, uh, yeah, you didn't. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Brandon, what's on 93.3 in your area? Bob 93.3. That's on here. Okay, maybe I did program. I don't know. What about 96.1? Yeah, we have that too. 100.7? Yeah, we have that too. 101.5? Yep, yeah, that's WRAL. And damn it. Hold on one sec, it's stuck again. Ninety-six point seven. Uh negative. So you did program your stations in here. Why do you have W R A L in here twice? I don't know. Hmm. Ninety-three point three over here is a station called the planet. I'm not sure what the call sign is. 96.1 over here is WHQC in Shelby. 100.7, we don't have one. Although we do have 100.5, but that's in South Carolina. That's WSSL. 101.5, I'm not sure. Yeah, can't even pick up WRAL. Naturally. Because I'm on the other side of the fucking state near Tennessee. Common logic. But, 
if we go to 90.7 WFAE to avoid copyright issues thanks to YouTube shitty policies. Oh god, I'm gonna get demonetized. I never was, so who cares? <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go on 90.7 real quick. It's very easy to get hung up on AI and robotics and all this sexy stuff. It's been the human right of the century. Ooh, sexy stuff, eh? Care to tell us? <laughs> that sounded so wrong. It can really help to augment, you know, the efficiency um, and, and optimize the time that we spend, uh, you know, with our patients and what we can do with them and the data that we can access and how we how that can influence our healthcare decisions. Plus, you know, with the work that we're doing with regards to the digital twin, for instance, and enabling, empowering the patient to see. <laughs> Just like the regular zone guard, the AMDXing capability on these things are crap! On um, their organ health and their body health overall, and we're able to kind of visualize it. But yeah, that's the speaker quality on this dreaded brick. So, we're going on to the next feature on this thing. Next feature on these radios, mostly the Zone Guard Plus, but I figured I'd bring out the regular Zone Guard here just for the hell of it, because it's the same thing. And I already reviewed this particular feature on the Zone Guard episode. Back when we had all the good times. Um, but, you guessed it, guys. The wall mounting capabilities. Now, the screws on both of these zone guards are spaced in the same length, like one or two inches apart. I think that's one or two inches apart. Two inches apart, yes. Um, but, yeah. Both of these radios, in my opinion, look so much better on the wall. That's why I've had the... Hold on, if I can put it on here. Wait, am I even doing it right? No, I'm not. Okay. Okay, there we go. That's why I left both zone guards on the wall. I say both zone guards because I did the same with this one. If I put this one on, this one is not as steady as the other one, as you can see. Eh, both of them are like that, but this one is worse. Especially when I press the buttons, probably because of how it's shaped on the back. But both of them, in my opinion, look so much better on the wall. Instead of on the stand. So. Because they're just flat bricks. They have nothing else to do but to haunt your ass with fucking dreaded tones when a tornado warning gets issued for Davidson County at three in the goddamn morning. Kind of like how Albany scares the shit out of Nicholas Miller out of bed at three in the morning just for a flash flood watch. God damn it. And yes, Nicholas, I said your full name. I'm sorry. But. Wait, then again. People have seen it on some of my videos, so shit. Anyway, it's been leaked. <laughs> no offense. But anyway, that's besides the point. So, yeah. Both radios can be mounted on the wall very easily. I kind of like how, um,. Both of them are like side by side with each other. That way you can get a better comparison between the two. But yeah, pretty much as you can see, these radios are fine looking on the wall. Even though they are possessed bricks. They do their job. But anyway, next feature on the Zone Guard Plus. Probably... One of the most possessed, creepy, but also innovative features that this radio has. Remember those two other little smaller black bricks that were next to this particular radio? Well, those are the wireless alert modules. What these <laughs> little fellows do is transmit a tone from this radio, when it activates for any warning, tests, watches, warnings, 
emergencies, you name it. Whatever this radio activates for, it will send a tone through these two little modules. You can even buy two extras and have a total of four alert modules for this radio. And Brandon has taken selfies of his dick. I mean, what? <laughs> no, I screenshotted one. screenshot or I and I will kill you. <laughs> oh, now it just messages me saying you bastard. <laughs> anyway. Oh, that was a very poorly drawn penis. <laughs> God, we're talking about the self and blast not deck size. They be ashamed of themselves. <laughs> God. You're going to ruin this. We ruined this video, man. <laughs> Might as well put age restrictions on this video. I... <laughs> anyway. Um. Oh, God. I apologize. But you could even have a total of four of these wireless alert modules, like I said. But he only got two, which is the stock amount that you get with the Zone Guard Plus. No matter. They both run on three AAA batteries, and they do provide a pretty good way of alerting you when you are out of the room where this radio is. So, yeah. Both of these modules can go up to 164 feet. That's how far the range is on these modules, which is pretty far, not going to lie. But what these do basically is transmit a tone which sounds similar to the Zone Guard watch tone, except it's higher pitched. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate that right now. I'm going to take these modules and place them somewhere out of the room. So you guys are coming with me for this. Let's see. I'm going to put one right over here. And I'm going to put the second one right here. And I'm going to press the sync button on the Zungard Plus itself. And as soon as I press the button, which is this, the undisclosed button, as soon as I press it, we should be hearing them outside. So, three, two... One test. They're both going off now. See, they work. Now, these modules can be used anywhere pretty much. And after a while, it'll have a red light on both of them, letting you know that they are fully operational and that the batteries haven't drained yet. So, yeah, we've demonstrated that. They do work, I must say. That's one way of alerting someone when you're out of the room. Let's do that again. Was that a thunderclap I just heard? Yeah, very close, very close. What was that? That weird lightning Come on, Jimmy. Where was that? Because, dang. That was close. Oh, God. I'm actually going to go on GR level 3 right now. Let's see this. Okay, what maps? Tell me where it was. Okay, KRAX. Um, it doesn't show it was nearby, but it sure was nearby. Oh my god. Oh yeah, there it is. Headed straight for Wayne County. Yeet. But anyway, 
that's pretty much it for the wireless alert modules part but as you can clearly see these modules work like a charm um, however there is one more feature that I would like to discuss before we fully end this radio reviews episode so bear with me on this one I think you guys are gonna enjoy this last feature we're actually going to use Mr. Computer for this. So if we search up Eton Zone Guard Plus and click the shopping tab, you will see, look, the price on some of them are reasonable. Eton Zone Guard Plus, $39.96 for this freaking thing. However, if you scroll down this one, new in box, is $85 used. $85 fucking dollars. Jesus Christ, I see that too. Oh why? Why? Yeah, why is it cost? Why does this particular radio cost so much? Is it because of the wireless alert modules that come with it? Is it because it's a plus? Oh, is it because, oh, it's plus. We gotta make it a higher price so people can't afford it just to make them think it's a rare radio when it really isn't. But why does it cost so much? $85 used. Seriously? Come on now. I've seen cheaper radios like this. The regular Zone Guard is 1998. Look, here's one used for 20 bucks, and it includes the modules. But why do some people price these things so damn high? Look. Greedy fuckers. Right? But look, look at this. This one's $85 used. And I am not sure if this is a typo, Brandon, but look at this. I mean, it's not $8.50. No, 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 no. I see something even worse. No Refurbished Eton NZG200B Zone Guard Plus BLK. You guys want to know what the price is? You want to know what the price is? Brandon, do you want to know first or shall I show the viewers first? And it's Wait, refurbished. Let me, let me see the price of this. Can you read that? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of fuckery is that? Are you guys ready to see? You ready? Okay. Four, seven, four hundred and seventy-one dollars and two cents refurbished. Four hundred and seventy-one dollars and two cents. And that right there just shoved up their ugly asses. For a refurbished Eton Zonguard Plus. Four hundred and seventy one dollars and two cents extra. Shove it up your ugly ass. Now to the people Indeed. Now, let me ask you a question. To the people who list these particular radios, these Zonguard Pluses, used or not, why, in the name of Almighty God, DID IT COST SO MUCH?! Because someone's a greedy fucking bastard, that's why. I'd rather buy four WR400s with that money. Hell, I'd rather save that money to buy a new gaming PC, even though this one is perfectly working. I'd rather save that much just to, just to buy uh, an Xbox One X, along with some other, uh, uh, bleh, I can't even talk, along with some other expensive game that nobody even knows about. But seriously, why $400 for a Zone Guard Plus? The thing's already possessed in itself, so, why would people want to pay that much for a possessed brick that is bound to break in the coming days or weeks of owning one? But seriously, why? And not to mention, 
This particular zone guard listing is from Aztec Computers. Boy, from a computer company, that's no excuse. That is no excuse at all. Who the hell would want to buy a haunted flat brick for that money? That's like fucking... I don't even know anymore, man. I don't even know anymore. It's ludicrous. I don't care anymore. It's ludicrous, dude. <laughs> like, why though? That's just no. The singer is ludicrous. Absolute. God damn it. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you guys get the point. That is why people want to stay away from these radios. They are overpriced. They can break down a lot if they wanted to. Luckily, this one hasn't done such a thing yet. And I hope it never yeah. does. But, this is one of the many reasons why not too many people buy these Zone Guard Pluses. They are too overpriced for their own wallet and for their own good. Because, seriously, who the hell would buy $470, uh, $470 radio? I mean, that's absolutely senseless and... Only people who would have acorns for brains would do that. So, yeah. Pretty much case closed. So, in conclusion, the Zone Guard Plus is promising, but it has a lot of flaws. It is overpriced, has a horrible siren, but... It does have a good quality speaker for the type of radio it is. Plus, it also gets good reception. And the wireless alert module features and stuff like that are pretty innovative for this time period that we're living in right now. The good old 2010s. But, yeah. This was not a bad radio. It still isn't a bad radio, but... Like every radio, it has its flaws. Even the Zone Guard has its flaws, but hey, it still works, right? That's the same principle for this radio. Although it may be bulky, may be possessed, may be Satan himself, may have a flashing red light on top, may have a horrible sounding siren like this. Jesus. Yeah, I know. But it still serves its purpose. It's a weather radio. So, thank you guys for watching. Before we close off this video, I'd like to give a special thanks to Brandon Crocker, Wayne County Emergency over here, for giving me this Zone Guard Plus. So now that I have both versions of the Zone Guard to be tortured by. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Not a problem. So, this video was made possible thanks to him. So, subscribe to his channel down below in the description, people. Make sure to leave a like on this video. Comment on it if you want to. But, we shall see you guys in the next video. So, this is Clay Ranger 143 signing out with two haunted flat bricks along with Welcome to Hell. My name is Brandon Crocker Wayne County Emergency. And I'll see you guys later. <laughs> we'll see Hi, you. I'm Brandon Crocker. Welcome to Hell. <laughs> All right. See you guys later. <laughs>